At the T-minus three-minute mark, tape recorders on board the spacecraft were turned on. These recorders record both voice and data. This is WOMMLP operating out of Burlington, Vermont, 105.9 The Radiator. I am your host for this evening, Tom Proxer. It is The Rocket Shop. Thank you so much for tuning in. With me tonight is We Are Here. Hello. Hello. Hey there. Thank you. And I should note that's We Are Here with an exclamation point. Absolutely. Uh, yes. that, that seemed very important in, <laughs> Absolutely in everything I read about you. It, it makes the band. <laughs> um, well, would you like to uh, briefly introduce yourselves? Yes. Um, I'm Zachary. I'm Nathan. And I'm Alex. Well, nice to, nice to meet you guys. Uh, we usually kick it off with a song. Yep. So if you'd like to introduce that and then take it away. All right. This first one is a song called uh, Heart Attack. It was co-written by me and a guy named Isaiah Perry. So all right, here we go. Ready? Tag by We Are Here. So you guys uh, had a little bit of poke around, and uh, you recently formed. So would you like to tell me a little bit of background on the band, uh, where you're from, uh, how did you guys form, and uh, yeah, how long have you been together? Well, me and this guy on the drums here, we've been together for about two years now. We started in another band of mine when we were at when I was at Johnson, transferred. We became compatible buddies, <laughs> and then. Uh, we had a couple of other projects in between there that either did or didn't work or whatever. And so about a year ago, we came up with the idea. There was another project in between there, but we, it stuck with the two of us as kind of the core. We changed the name about maybe October. And mm. then this guy came about, and then... Just just uh, so people listening that are referring to the bass, bassist, yes. Nathan. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. That's correct. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, Alex is the one I... We've been together for about mm -hmm. two years, so... We played at places like the Hard Rock Cafe and stuff like that. So, so, um, so you've been as a as a full group just around for for a few months. Um, 
what uh, you, you say, you know, you you first you uh, you two first came together as compatible buddies. Yeah. What uh, was the common core theme between you guys it's in terms of uh, musical tastes? I mean, we both listen to a lot of uh, punk rock and a lot of just classic rock and everything in between the subgenres of rock. So. <laughs> we we share a lot of Green Day, Nirvana, yeah. stuff like that, and then a lot of kind of the other ones that. Some people that aren't as interested in. We have kind of some weird, weird ones too. <laughs> okay, uh, I'd, I'd love to hear about the weird ones. Which which are the more far out bands that you tend to draw influence from? <laughs> Why are you playing that? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, uh, one of the band. There's a couple of newer bands that I've really liked. Um, there's one called Half Alive. They're kind of like an indie kind of band, and and they've been kind of getting bigger. And then there's a band called I don't know how, but they found me. Mm. They're, they're one of my kind of influences right now. So. I like Half Alive. They uh, they've popped up in my Discover yeah. Weekly playlist yeah. a few times. Not sure if we're allowed to talk about Discover Weekly being need <laughs> everything, but uh, Bob hasn't said anything, so we're okay. Um, <laughs> so what got you guys into making music in the first place? Are you, have you always been musical, or is this a kind of a newfound phenomenon that you, you kind of came to during college, or wh what what's happened here? Okay. Uh, you can start if you want oh. to. So my parents bought me a guitar in like seventh grade for Christmas, and I never asked for one. <laughs> and then I started playing. That's the end of the, that's kind of the end of that story. Well, wow, it's uh, it's remarkable that you decided to go for it even though you didn't want to play. Yeah, <laughs> I started finding it enjoyable. Okay, <laughs> were you forced into it? Or is it no, kind of like no, you sat it was down? something that I was kind of always interested in, but like I never said specifically, "Hey, can I have a guitar?" So it's actually your parents are incredibly intuitive. Yeah. They knew you better than you knew yourself. They're Perhaps. psychic. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. Ah, well, I'll be something to thank your parents for. Uh, how about the? How about you, the two? How, Alex. Uh, yeah. So uh, I've been playing the trumpet in the school band since uh, like middle school, and uh, I started playing drums probably in like seventh grade when uh, a few of buddies and I were playing like Rock Band the video game, <laughs> and they were like, "What if we did this in real life?" <laughs> and so I picked up the drums then and um, I've been doing a little both uh, at one point I picked up bass but that didn't go very far but so for the most part I'm a trumpet player who agreed to do drums uh, I, it's remarkable uh, how in um, uh, in that game it was really only the drums that could have like, that kind of actual yeah. real life crossover yes, yes. because yeah. I remember being really good at that on yeah. the guitar and I am useless on the guitar so <laughs> <laughs> lesson learned there um so since forming, uh, I have noticed, you know, you, you've been playing uh, small places, but also, as you mentioned before, you played uh, Boston Hard Rock Cafe. So yes. tell me a little bit about uh, how you ended up getting that gig and, um, yeah, what are the kind of gigs you're looking at at the moment? Uh, well, that one came around from Luck and Craigslist. So the day, <laughs> the day that I actually got Alex in the other band at first, we got the email back from the – then it was like this – it was a pretty, like, sketchy organization thing that we probably shouldn't have been a part of anyway. But on the day that he joined the band, we got the email of being like, you got it. And so we had two weeks that he had to learn, like, six of our songs. <laughs> when, you, when you say sketchy organization, do you mind elaborating a little bit on that? It was, it, it, we didn't get paid for the show. Oh, so, and okay. And like, kind of like a, yeah, it was just, yeah, it was just, you know, a little oddball kind of. Was yeah. it like a middleman on Craigslist yeah. that was, gets well, it was, money it was for bands this, or something? Was, I don't want to say like the name of it. <laughs> 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 but it was, it, was an, it was just an organization. The whole point was to kind of get musicians for this like kind of gallery thing. Mm. And it was a really cool event, and we met a lot of really cool people. But I talked to like four other people, and they also didn't get paid. So, oh, yeah. so uh, Hard Rock yeah. FA exploiting musicians there. Well, well no, <laughs> not, not them. <laughs> On multiple occasions, they said they're not associated yeah. with this. It was, uh, it was just an event that was there. Was they there. had nothing to do with it. Uh, okay. Yeah. You've been very careful with your wording. Yeah. You've been very careful with your wording here. Yeah. So maybe I should I should move on. So, uh, you so you played at the Hard Rock Cafe, and then uh, what else have you been playing since? Well, um, this is technically this band's second show, but um, we've played um, we, we played just kind of local college places, and then I, with the other band, played uh, the Canopy Lake Park Battle of the Bands with the other band. So we've kind of been around different kind of bigger performances. Okay, and uh, so you say you're in other bands as well. Is it all does it all fit kind of like indie punk theme, or have you do you guys kind of branch out genre wise? 
kind it, they kind of all stayed relatively the same genre. I mean, we what we kind of do is like we don't like, I guess, saying that we're just a punk band or we're just like a grunge band. We kind of like having like a little bit of everything so that we can kind of play whatever we need to, like, mm-hmm. so that we don't just like get bored of the same thing that we do. So we even have like kind of like a hip hop cover that we kind of do sometimes. So it's like it's it's just a little bit of everything. Okay. We well, I'd love to hear another song. Um, what have you got for us? This next one is a song called Out the Window, and it's about kind of that friend that you have that you love to death, but they drive you insane at the same time. It's called Out the Window. Hope you like it. If the next thing you mum about really makes no sense Or if you repeat a joke that someone else just said I really can't promise that you'll live to your next day We went an effective way to repeat all this pain We're gonna throw you out the way We're gonna throw it out the way That open window one more time tonight We're gonna throw you out the window We're gonna throw you out the window You don't make sense Even though we know you mean well Gonna throw you out the window <laughs> All right, out the window there by We Are Here. Is that song? Uh, is that song written about anyone in particular? <laughs> yes, but no, <laughs> <laughs> no, it is not. Actually, yeah, no. It's about it's about camaraderie and just just that separation of camaraderie. Sometimes it's not about anybody in particular. <laughs> Did, not at all. did that did that no one in particular get thrown out the window or was it more no. of a more of a wish than, no, than uh, just, reality? Just, one day I was sitting there with them. It was like an hour of just straight like just talking and talking and talking about nothing. And so I was like, you know what? You get a song. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, it's good to know what your criteria yes. is. Um, and you were mentioning your previous song, Heart Attack, was written uh, in collaboration yes. with uh, a man or woman, I'm not yeah. sure, with Isaiah, Isaiah Perry. Yes. So tell me a little bit about Isaiah. Where, where are they tonight? And I, um, yeah. 
<laughs> do you do you write a lot of your songs in collaboration, or is this um, kind of a one-off? Well, Isaiah was part of the first band I was a part of, and we kind of co-wrote the song together. How the song came about was he and I kind of went out to write a song together. Um, what it was was w he decided we wanted to write a song that was about a joking bank robbery, but the joke of the song is that it was actually just he was writing it to impress this girl, and so it's kind of just a funny song that's like not about anything it's just yeah and and, and it's just a song that's kind of stuck around we play it a lot and people tend to enjoy it when we play it so i don't know just when it's stuck around yeah so. uh, and any plans to get isaiah into this band as well and have a have a bit of a collaboration no but if we write together that's fine <laughs> i yeah. love you isaiah <laughs> if you're, you're, out there. If you're out there beginning to wonder whether or not the second song might be about him no um, <laughs> So he knows who it's about. <laughs> 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 so let's talk a, bit, a little bit, about, bit more about uh, the way that you kind of craft songs and write songs. What's your kind of method by, behind, uh, behind how you create a song? Well, um, t in the past, I technically kind of write riffs or I write a chunk of, the w uh, of words that I think are kind of in influential to me. And then I just kind of, they kind of build on top of that. But with kind of the two of us, what it's kind of been is like, He'll have something, and then I'll add on to that, or I'll have something, and he'll kind of add on to that. It's kind of just like putting in our two cents where it goes, and so far it's been pretty, pretty good mesh of. Yep. Do you, do you tend to f uh, write just when you have band practice, or is it kind um, of do you got to open Google Docs or what? I tend to write all the time. I keep a notebook, and I just write about when my day hasn't gone so great. <laughs> I'll just you know write some stuff down in my my notebook, <laughs> and. Um, if it's good enough, I show it to him and <laughs> we turn it into a song. What decides if it's good enough? I mean, it's if not... I, if I like it and if he also <laughs> likes it, because there's a lot of stuff in there I don't like. Okay. <laughs> it's more of... It's not more of like a bad or a good. It's like what will what kind will, of... What will sound good. Yeah, what can we make sound like a full song? Right. Or just like a kind of piece of poetry kind of thing. But Okay. And uh, how, how, how do you kind of build the songs you said you kind of come up with riffs together uh you know what gets into our mindset to, to start getting those creative juices flowing i mean sometimes i go into a song and i have a clear idea of what i kind of want I, I sometimes i can just hear different parts and where they should go or shouldn't go sometimes i get stuck on something for over a year and i can't figure it out until i do it, uh um out the window actually came around the riff came like a couple months before it and then when the kind of the events of the of, of the nobody I'm singing about kind of like <laughs> inspired or didn't inspire the song. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it kind of, it kind of, it, it, it kind of comes from just being in a specific place that it makes sense where like so, something you were working on where it didn't have context before or you were trying to give it context. It has better context somewhere else. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of where I, what I do with most songs unless I have a clear idea, but yeah. Do you tend to get uh, a song once the, you propose it and and have the riffs? Do you tend to get it tight in the first practice session, or are these things ever evolving? I mean, it, the some of the ones that we've written together, those kind of at first they kind of actually come out with something different, and then we kind of like keep working on it, and then it kind of gets better, and so we just kind of like I don't know. It just it just depends on what kind of the, what kind of song it is, I guess, what kind of mood it is, or I don't know. It just depends on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, I, there's a yeah. lot of things in the, especially probably what we're gonna play next. Yeah, um, was written by the two of us. I had the lyrics from uh, a part of my life that I kind of forgot about and then came back to. Um, so I, I showed them to him after uh, submitting them for a songwriting assignment Ooh. for college. Um, and he was like, "Yeah, this could work." And then we kind of like, we kind of like narrowed down what was gonna go where, and then yeah. I added a chorus. I yeah, I made the chord progression, and then you yeah. came up with the chorus. Yeah. So it kind of just comes from wherever we find right. stuff to put into it, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. And is it usually uh, just about kind of real life experiences that you, you've experienced? Do you do you ever kind of delve into the more abstract, or even the or or even stories that you read? Uh, is it or is it just really about personal experience? I mean, Heart Attack was about kind of just. Nothing. I mean, yeah. sometimes if there is a good song that's just a story, then, I mean, I'm trying to think of if I have like enough. Like Agony. Agony is kind of about something in real yeah. life. But um, 
I like playing with things that kind of have something to do with real life, but you kind of make it fictional. Like you kind of base it off of something that you did experience, but you kind of change like where the story kind of goes with it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Okay. And um, at the moment, have you got any plans to get in the studio? Uh, I, I didn't see that you've got any, I, I've not found like a band camp or a, or a SoundCloud with you guys yet. We've had kind of on and off luck trying to get stuff recorded. Yeah. Um, we're going to be trying to work on an EP soon, but, um, we, the, we've had a couple of songs that we've tried recording. People have gotten upset about things yep. and we've gotten upset about parts and like, it's just, it's just, it, it's been a little bit messy, but we're planning on trying to actually get like a four song EP next semester, but. Do you mean like the engineers that are, are helping you create the, create the EPs or? It, it's just been kind of like. Demand? creational riffs or or just i don't know it's just been more time than anything else when we're available because we all kind of jobs in school too right. so it's like it's hard to find time yeah. between us that we can sit down or in a, get into a studio and just bang yeah. something out right we kind of have to like plan to be in yeah. the recording space because so yeah you have to sign out the yeah studio and room. somebody has to be there who's allowed to White, use it and like, all sorts of stuff so so uh, po politics and time and oh, yes. exactly the the rest of the works Great um, have you decided which songs would be going on to the ep uh or is this that also kind of still in flux i think all the songs that we're playing tonight are yes. what we've decided yeah. to be on it um yeah and if we decide to add one or two more right. it's to be decided but the, all the songs that we're playing tonight i think are our kind of main ones that we're going to be floating around a bit so are you looking to name the ep or is it just going to be the self-titled yeah. we are here it's already kind of named it's, uh, name. it's called nothing it will be called nothing personal it's from the out the window right. it's, a, it's the kind of throwaway line mm -hmm. we were like you know what that kind of has a lot more meaning so <laughs> kind of yeah. stuck around with it. i see um well um before i let you play your last song have you got anything else you'd like to plug? Any uh, social media accounts or gigs that are upcoming? I mean, we don't have any shows coming up yet, but um, if you want to join our Facebook page, it's W A H exclamation. Mm -hmm. Spell out exclamation. <laughs> and can I plug? Sure. I have a YouTube <laughs> channel and I make guitar covers of video game songs. Follow me on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. It's Ace Covers. Ace Covers. All one word. On Instagram, it's Ace Covers YT. All oh, right. Well, that's uh, an interesting one. I've not had that sort of plug before. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, thank you guys so much for coming in. Um, if uh, you get that EP created, and uh, f uh, please let us know, and we'll we'll stick it on the radio, and maybe get you back in again. Yeah. Um, what song have you got uh, left to play? Is out. Do you want to do nothing personal or anything? Nothing personal. Okay. Cool. Not nothing personal. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> never saw it coming. This, okay. this is never saw it coming. Thanks. I guess it's time to go Am my bed or on my heel? There's a million different sticks and stones Breaking my bones and gotta start this show Oh, oh, oh Am my bed or off this way? You're driving me insane can't count all the ways, so many ways you like a bad song in my brain. Uh, and I cannot explain. I know you probably hate me now, but baby.
everything that you gave me and burn it, baby. Throw it to the sun with everyone. You won't let go of me. Your hold still strong on me like a tumor that grows in me. Waiting for the day you set me free. I was never saw it coming by. We are here. Thank you guys so much for coming in. Thank you for having us. Yeah. No worries. Uh, coming up next, we got Rick Polari. Uh, we'll be having him on uh, to talk a little bit about Make Music Day VT, uh, which is a cool music festival, which I'm really excited to talk about. Uh, so we'll be right back after a short break. 